Everyone, welcome to the show. I have some follow-up details from that Steven Crowder story I shared, uh, I think it was just yesterday, (laughs) and the video in which he was seen berating and emotionally abusing his eight-month pregnant wife. So Crowder is now claiming that the video was deceptively edited and that it was taken out of context. But if you've seen it, you know there is no context in which that behavior is acceptable especially not with a woman that you're supposed to love about to give birth to your twin babies. So Crowder's former staff members, most of whom, by the way, left of their own accord, are now speaking out. There's like, yeah, that's who he is. That's who we know him to be. (laughs) So here's the deal and the new details about this right wing, quote unquote, hero. Um, The New York Post spoke with 10 of Crowder's former employees. They worked for the show at various times, not all during the same period, but from the inception of the show in 2016 through last year, 2022. One said, quote, I'm not shocked, but it was pathetic what he did to Hillary, which is his wife. That might not be the Stephen you see on his show, but that was the real Stephen. The Post article also says that employees describe Crowder's company as an abusive workplace, and they said that Crowder's behavior was like a yo-yo. They said sometimes he could be charming and kind, and then he could be volatile and, quote, capable of working every angle of your emotions. And another employee told the Post, quote, We don't want Stephen to suffer. We just want the abuse to stop or at least let future employees know what they're getting themselves into. But beyond the tirades, beyond the outburst that they claim to have witnessed, Crowder is also accused of exposing himself to staff members. And yeah, I'm talking about exposing, like as in Lauren Boebert's husband, like talking about his junk. (laughs) So... Former staffers say that in 2018, while one of Crowder's former producers was in the back seat of a vehicle, he was, you know, passed out. They had been at an event. He was asleep. Crowder climbed back to the back row where he was sleeping and, quote, dropped his junk on top of Jared's shoulder. This person says that Crowder ex- also exposed himself to that same producer on another occasion in 2017. And then during a 2018 flight, another employee said that they witnessed Crowder placing his testicles on a man named John Goodman. Now, Goodman is Crowder's assistant, still current assistant, and he's his childhood friend. Another employee claims that Crowder exposed himself again on set to his now former co-host, Dave Landau. So if all of this is true... Crowder really seems to enjoy exposing himself to men, right? He really seems to enjoy showing his junk or putting his junk on other men. Kind of weird. I'm just saying. I don't know. I'm not a dude. (laughs) Maybe, maybe the ones I hang out with are weird. Maybe that's a normal thing. I don't know. (laughs) Anyway, Landau recently called Crowder a bully on a podcast. Again, this is his former co-host. And he said, quote, whatever he has and whatever he's going through, I think he was bullied at some point in his life. He's become the bully and he doesn't realize it. Landau also recalled an incident in which he was questioning Crowder about a scheduled guest host. I guess Crowder was going to be out for a while. And so they were bringing someone else in. And then one of the producers said, no, this person's not coming in. So he just was questioning Crowder about it. And basically Crowder lost his shit. Landau said, quote, he told me he owns me. It was venomous. I saw a different person that I had heard of rumors about. Crowder's also accused of making his employees do his dirty laundry, like literal dirty laundry, not like hiding stuff. (laughs) And they say that he set unrealistic expectations for them and, quote, set people up for failure. They also say that he would threaten to fire people arbitrarily. He was known to scream at staff, just lose it with them, including his father, who works as his booker. And one former staffer said, quote, These terrible ideas and moves have always been in his nature, 
But over time, he has surrounded himself with only yes men and his family who works for him. They don't tell him otherwise. There's no one there to hold him to account. So there you go, guys. This guy has been placed on a pedestal on the right. I mean, he has a massive following. He has like over 5 million followers on YouTube. It's insane, you know, and they didn't have a problem. None of these people who worked with him, no, you know, they said a lot of these people were fans of his show that came to work for him. And they didn't have a problem with his bigotry, with his sexism, with all the rest of his vile behavior. So only when it affects them, do they then care? Do they then realize they're dealing with someone with issues? They're like, yeah, I love this guy. He's a loud mouth. You know, he, oh, he isn't afraid to spew out hate towards people different than me. But then it, it starts flying in their direction. They're like, oh, wait. Oh, he's a hateful person. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we could have told you that. This is his nature. This is like, you know, the scorpion and the frog. And the frog's like, oh, how do I know you're not going to sting me if I let you take me across the, the river? And the scorpion's like, no, if I do that, I'll I'll drown myself. Why would I do that? And then he stings the frog because it's in his nature. You know, and it reminds me of comments I get sometimes about facts in my book. Um, for those of you who've read it, you guys will know what I'm talking about. But I shared in my book details about undercover investigations into factory farms and how animals are physically, sometimes even sexually abused by the workers. And people say, oh, my God, you know, I can't believe this. Who could do the things that you talk about? to these innocent animals. And my answer is always the same because the type of person who would choose to work at a factory farm <laughs> is the type of person who would do something like that, right? I mean, you would have to be a cold, callous, unfeeling person to watch animals be slaughtered day in and day out. It's not like the job changed those workers. The type of job, that type of job attracts that type of damaged person. It's the same thing with Crowder. It, you know, it's probably the same thing with the people who went to work for him. You know, to act in the way that he acted on air, acts on air, to say the things that he says, he had to have something broken inside of him long before he started his show. So it's the nature of the beast. Um, and for those who watch the other show, you may not have caught this. His wife filed for divorce in 2021. So she is not still there. Um, I, I believe they've been battling it out. I don't believe that the whole thing is settled out yet, but they have been living separately for quite some time. She is on her own living with the twins, taking care of them. Her family said that she's just trying to focus on that. She was trying to repair the, the relationship. She kept his abuse secret, they say, forever, basically, for the entirety of their nine-year marriage because she wanted to try to make things better and make it work. But, you know, it's like an alcoholic who can't admit that they're an alcoholic. I mean, they're just, they're not going to change. They're not going to get help. They don't see the benefit. They don't see the point because they don't think that there's a problem. So, yeah, I mean, uh, maybe wife number two and wife number three and wife number four, <laughs> maybe then it'll sink in. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching and listening. Please like, share and subscribe. Please donate if you can. Love you all. Take care and I'll talk with you soon. <laughs>